everyone, I'm Chelsea with Ascendry Asana, and welcome to day four of our handstand series. As you can see, I've moved all my lovely plant babies away from my wall, because today is all about leveraging Paul the wall to further us in our handstand journey. So hello, Paul. Say hi to Paul. You can name your wall whatever you'd like, but the yoga community usually names it Paul. today in um, one exercise that I personally learned as I started my yoga journey. Um, or I should say as I started my handstand journey. And that is walking my feet up the wall. And this actually takes quite a bit of strength, but this is a great strength building exercise. So I encourage you to give it a try. And so what you do is you just um, place your hands um, about your body's distance away from the wall so your feet can kind of be on the wall. And you can start as low as you want. I prefer to usually put it kind of like hip distance. And then just push the mat away as you push your weight into your leg into the wall. And see how you do that? And then you can just kind of walk your legs up and walk your hands in. And so here, when you're in this positioning, you can focus on pressing into that index finger mound, um, pushing the mat away, so broadening out the shoulder blades, and finding hollowness in the, in the abdomen. And you can keep your feet up against the wall, pull your head in between your shoulders, gaze at the wall. And then if you want, you can even practice pulling one foot off the wall and then the other. And you can either walk your hands back down or you can kind of jump off the wall or I can't show you because my plants are here, but you can also kind of cartwheel yourself off the wall, so sideways off the wall. Um, so that's a really great strength building exercise. And that's actually how I learned to get into handstand because honestly, I tried the kick up handstand up against the wall and I could never catch. I'd always fall forward. So this way, my body always wanted to fall forward. So I led it by walking my hands up and then I'd be following, falling into the wall. So that's a really great strength building exercise. Otherwise, another option is to do those kick-ups that we talked about. Where you place your, you can either place your hands on the mat or kind of lean into it. But this is how you can learn with the wall so you don't have to worry about falling backward, falling over. So you can place your hands about um, two hands distance, maybe a hand and a half away from the wall. Put your dominant leg forward in practice hopping up. And see, you can use the wall. It'll stop you from going over. You can focus on bringing your gaze. I would say to keep your gaze, try to keep it between your hands to learn the proper positioning. So avoid like pulling it under. Try to keep it between your hands. And you can either let both of your legs drop, although this kind of gives you that nice banana back that we don't want. So kind of suck it in. Pull one leg off if you can, and then pause, and then the other, and then back down. So you can keep doing that back and forth if you want. That's a fun little exercise to build strength for the handstand. So then another way um, you can learn that's actually my least favorite exercise of all time, is the wall pike. Um, and again, it's my least favorite because I have limited mobility in my back and really tight hamstrings. So I can't always get into that full pike, 90 degree pike position. Um, but obviously I'm still gonna show you, even if I don't practice this one a whole lot myself. A lot of people find this beneficial for helping them. So don't let the fact that I hate it deter you from trying it. 
Okay, so one way to find the positioning for this is to put your leg um, against the wall and then right where your foot kind of lands, I'd say usually where your toes land, maybe just behind the toes, is where you want to position your hands for this pike. So you flip around, place your palms down, get into that nice positioning. You can bring your foot up behind your hip, bring your other foot up. You can hold here if you want and get that nice opening of the shoulders with those knees bent by just pulling your head in between your hands. And you can just sit with, like in this position to build strength. Otherwise, if you want to, you can kind of, see, I need to walk my hands up just a bit. You can kind of straighten out your legs into that pike. You can bring one foot up. Place it down, then the other. Down, bend those knees to rest. And then back down. <sighs> if you want an exercise to build strength for handstand, this is it. Again, it's my least favorite because it burns so good. So, yeah, um, feel free to use Paul the Wall in any for any of the exercises I've showed you because it can really help you build confidence. But again, don't just use the wall as a crutch. So a lot of people will sit against the wall and handstand for a long time because they're afraid to move it into a room, you know, to do a free standing handstand. And when they finally do, they'll realize that they were ready a long time ago, but they were just using this wall because they were scared. And so it's okay to be afraid of falling and afraid of injuring yourself. That's a normal human reaction. Um, but it becomes a problem when we let it hinder us in our practices. So when, if, you're, if you're feeling totally comfortable and you're flying up against the wall, try it in an open room. And that's what we'll be doing tomorrow in our freestand handstand. Um, with that note, I look forward to having you join me tomorrow for day five of our handstand series. We'll, we'll be taking our handstand off the wall and really going for it. So I will see you guys tomorrow and thanks for joining me. Bye.